Okay, friends, here we go. I just washed my hair and I'm just about to put me a little headband on just to keep my hair out of my face before I blow it dry. And I am going to be 70 years old tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you how I put my makeup on and what I do. I use Lime Life makeup. Um, it has, it, I guess it actually was mostly used for stars and people, you know, because it, it works good for filming and this, that, or the other. But I was introduced to it by a friend and then my daughter started selling it and I love it. I just love it. So the first thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is put some of this on and it's um, the primer. It's a spray primer. And so I'm going to put that on my face first of all. Now I do have a little fan that my daughter bought me and I put it right here by my makeup table. It's just a battery operated one and it just clips on but it works fantastic for stuff like that. And I've already washed my face and I washed it with the uh, with this midnight makeup. Oh my gosh. This uh it, it is amazing. It's I have very dry skin, so this works really good for me to be able to wash my face with that. I love it. And then when I finish with that, I put the midnight oil on. Some people just use it at night. I use it night and morning because I am so in love with it. It is such a wonderful job on my face. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is these are called Wonder Drops. These little Wonder Drops. And I'm going to take and you push the button and it comes up. I'm going to put just a little bit on my finger because my face, like I said, is so very dry. And I'm going to put this up here on my face. Okay, wonderful. Oh, it feels so good. All right. Whew. All right, so then I'm going to take... Now, a lot of... Some people do their eyes first. I hate doing my eyes first. And, and one thing that I've learned is when you get older, you can just do whatever you want. There's not like a rule of, okay, because I'm gonna be 70, I have to wear this kind of makeup and that kind of makeup, and I can't wear this and can't wear that. I wear whatever I want, however I want. Okay, so on this Lime Life makeup, it comes with a, uh, I have this highlighter color and this, uh, cons uh, contouring color and then my makeup. I'm going to take the highlighting color and I'm going to, I'm going to look over here part of the time because I'm going to use my mirror and then I'm going to do it under my eye. I'm going to actually use it uh, over my eye also for like a eyeshadow primer and I'm going to go down and over as you can see, I have bags in my eyes. I'm gonna put it down the middle of my nose and up on my forehead in the center. Supposedly the perfect shape that you're supposed to go to for your face is um, oval. Oval is supposed to be the perfect shape. I'm not a wonderful artist in as far as painting and shadowing. But if you put the right shadows in the right place, then it works uh, It works good for you. So then, I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead. I have a brush, uh, makeup brush that I use. And I'm gonna put my makeup on there. I'm using the number four in this Lime Life makeup. And I'm gonna, oops, put this on my face. under my eye, even on top of the highlighter. Over here. Now, I also have a makeup dauber that I can use. And when you use that, you can use your finger as well. It doesn't matter. You can also use your finger. And it, these, you know, like pushes the makeup into your pores, if you will. You can buy these anywhere. This is a nice, soft, wonderful one that actually came in one of the Amaze boxes. 
I'm gonna use this a little bit more first and then I'll use that. Okay. Down my neck. Of course today the hairs are gonna fall out of my brush. <laughs> This particular one is not a limelight brush. I bought this one before, but they have the exact same brush. <gasps> I hit the camera, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna scoot in. I push this in. Now this can, I can do a makeup in just less than five minutes. I'm gonna take off and just run to the post office or the store or whatever. But I'm gonna show you all kinds of different things that I use, okay? So then, Okay, I'm gonna take this um, contour. And now mine is is liquid. They have powder as well. And because I have such a round face and fat cheeks, I like to come down here where it's so wide. You can do like that and figure out where to put it. And I go up beside my face and down in here, like this. And contour it. I'm going to take it up, put it on each side of my face, trying to get the oval shape. It's really, that's what I learned when I went to beauty school, anyhow. Back in the day. And then you want to put it down here as well and give a shadow down there. somewhat blend it in. Let's see if I have it on the, yeah, okay. Okay, then I have this brush here. And what I'm going to do with that, with this Lime Life, I have two different blushes and a, a contour powder. I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna dab the powder on top of the cream. As you can see, I'm gonna try to smooth out the line, but I do just, I want a definite contour that will fix it. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Here on the side. Then I'm going to, I also have another brush that I had for a long time. It's kind of a contour brush. I'm going to try to blend that in a little bit so there's not such a big definite line, but there is a definite contour. You can always fix that. Then I'm going to take this skinny one that I was using and I'm going to put it down each side of my nose. Actually, on the end of my nose as well. Yeah. I'm going to go down here. And take it down under here. Okay. And if you messed up and you don't have your light piece right there after you do that, if you need to contour it for a... If, if you don't have such a wide face, you might contour it up a little higher. Up here more. But my face is so round that I need to contour it down here. Okay, then I'm gonna take my little brush that I had a minute ago. So I'm gonna take the makeup brush and I'm gonna dab it right here a little bit to soften that so there's not just a gigantic line. You might even wanna go here. I went a little far forward. You don't have to, especially if your face isn't this round, you can come up a little bit higher and don't go as far in. But, with this round thing, yeah, I have to, okay? All right, so then what I'm gonna do is go back to this. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the light back on the top of my nose where I had put it before the makeup and make kind of like a chicken suit, if you will, because I have those such deep lines. 
I don't know if it's from frowning or what it's from. Now, you can take this dark contour and lightly put it, no, I did it backwards. Stop. <laughs> I did it backwards. I gotta get rid of that. Okay, you can take this dark contour and put it a little tiny bit up underneath your bottom lip, not your top lip. Then you put the light white up above your lip. The dark down below a contour. You put our lipstick on, you'll see that that kind of contours your face. I can be painting a picture. There's a shadow because there's a top lip and there's a little shadow under it. Yep. A little tiny bit of this white back up there. Okay. Now, because in the 90s, I, um, I plucked my eyebrows, and so, as you can see, I mean, I have some light, light, light ones, but there, I have almost none. I can have them tattooed, but I don't. So I draw them in every day. I start about right in here. This is the Lime Life, and this one's kind of a light one. I normally use the darker one, but I broke it. I'm waiting for the next one to come. And so I'm just going to... I'm going to use the line that I do have as the bottom. And make sure and don't hook it down because that makes you look... It makes you look uh, sad or scary. You, you do want to go down a little bit, but you don't want to go down. I would put it like that and show you, but I, I don't want to have to take it off. This is lighter than I use, so I'm having to really rub it on there. And it's got the little spoolie on the other end. Okay, now I'm going to take and use the... Uh, oops. This is the brow gel. Sorry, I bumped the camera. This is the brow gel that... Um, comes with lime. This is almost all lime life. I think so far everything is actually lime life. Honestly, you can use the same stuff from the Dollar Tree. Same, you know, you can use makeup from the Dollar Tree. You can use makeup from Walmart. You can use, you know, Sephora. You can use MAC. You can use any kind of makeup you want. I just happen to really like this. And then <clears throat> I bought one of these. They they sell these twin pencils. One of them is like this blue one, which is kind of cool to put under your eye, but I'm going to wait on that. And then there's this light one. I like to take that one and put it right up underneath my eyebrow and define what I just did. Yep. Seems like I didn't do it right on this one. What's going on? I don't know if it's the shadow or if I messed it up. Okay, so then what I like to do now, I bought uh, you can buy many different eyeshadows and they have them that match your eye color. Well, I have blue eyes, and this is the color scheme that they sent for blue eyes. So I put the, I have a brush that I put this lightest color, and I'm going to put it on the main part of my eye, and up above where I put that. It's not really white, white, it's kind of a, uh, as you can see, I use it <laughs> kind of a creamy white. <laughs> Might have to fix that eyebrow. It seems like I messed it up. Oh, well. Okay. And then, um, then I'm going to take this nice brush. Come on. 
and I'm going to go into the dark brown one here and I'm going to just go up above my eyelid, see? And I'm going to roll it around like in the corner over here. Put it over there. Okay. I'm going to do it on this side. There's not much fallout. Uh, you know, a lot of eyeshadows, when you start putting them on, they fall out all on your face so far. Uh, this one is not really much of a fallout, but it's very pigmented. And I do this because I like it to be blended in so nicely. And then I use a brush that's kind of a kind of a big brush, but I like to take that and blend it like this, so there's not gigantic lines with that. One thing I learned years ago is to take your darker shadow up here in this area and then take it down. I didn't know that. I always thought you had to just keep it really low, but it's supposed to be able to blend it all in a little bit better. Well, that's why I'm doing that. And then, all right, then I'm going to take, <sighs> the next thing I'm going to do is take that white again and put some right there on each side. Yeah, see, I'm messing up my eyebrow a little bit. So, hmm, here it is. Not so sure. Yeah, I usually use a little bit darker one, but that's okay. This is pretty okay, especially when I use the when I use the uh, gel. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do the eyeliner. Okay, now. They have both. They have this pencil that, I mean, it just glides like, I mean, it just glides like, it's crazy. It glides so easy and so nice. Like that. The eyebrow pencil that I had is not Lime Life. I had to go look back in a drawer where I found an eyebrow pencil because I broke mine. I don't know. I just don't know how I even did. I just broke the whole thing. Now, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, and I I bought this from Timu, this silly little thing. I only, and then if you hold it, I have it plugged into a, it's an outlet, an old fashioned, the little bitty phone, I don't know what they call those, mini things, and you then it turns green when you push the button. And what it is, is a heated eyelash curler. So you're gonna, uh, yeah, you can see my eyelashes in there if you look close enough. I don't know if it's quite hot enough because you can, it doesn't get like hot to burn you or anything like that, but you can feel that it's warm. It feels pretty good, actually. Yeah, I see my eyelashes. Because I have lupus, sometimes my eyelashes all fall out. And then sometimes I get great big canker sores in my, all in my mouth, just full. Thank goodness I'm not into that right now. Okay, so we're gonna put that down. And then I'm gonna <clears throat> get the eyeliner. And this is pretty amazing too. This is the eyeliner pencil, or I mean brush. And so I'm gonna start at the outside of my eye. Actually, some people hold their eye like this, you know, and do it really close to their eyelashes. Some days I do that, and some days I use a pencil. I stuck that in my eye, so now it's gonna water a bit. Okay. This is the eyeliner. This is black. 
and if you're 70 years old and you want to use black, use black. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you when I use the pencil. Um, and they have the coolest little uh, sharpener. I love this sharpener. It's, oops, it's one of the best I've ever used with Lime Lime. It really is. It's like a little dome and it really holds it all in. Okay, so then what I do sometimes when I, if I, especially if I don't use the liquid liner, sometimes I'll come up under my eyelashes like that. And I fill it in like that. When you get older like this, your eyelids get kind of wrinkled. And so when you try to push something like I just did that, you cause a little, it wrinkles it up for you. So let's say that happens. I stuck that in my eye and made my eye water. So now I got watery eyes. And also I can turn this fan off. It doesn't have to be blowing in my eyes either. Okay, there we go. Um, So now, if I use the, partly I'm doing this to show you both of the products, but with this, with this paintbrush like thing, I can go back and, I can go back and fix that to where it's more even. little bit wider. Well, some days, why not? Some days, why not? Okay, then tell you what, I got my eyes just a watering like crazy. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is my eyelashes. Now, there's two different kinds of mascara. There's just the regular and I have black on both of these. This is just a regular one. And this is waterproof. I love the waterproof, but you can see the brush is a little bit different. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of waterproof on there. And then I'm gonna get busy and, okay, right here, like that. I'm gonna get busy and I'm gonna put this one because the brush is different and it fluffs it a little bit more. This is not the waterproof one, this is the regular one. And I'm gonna put it on there. And I'm gonna come over here on this side. And get it all out like that. Get it nice and full. I've never had really big, long eyelashes, you know, so. Okay, hopefully that will stop running and my nose will stop running. Okay, whoops, I got a little piece of makeup there. Okay. I think it's really weird turning 70. There's something about it that seems to bother me. But I'm thankful to be alive, you know, and I guess I should just be thankful that I'm alive and as healthy as I am. Okay, so we're gonna fix that eyelash so it's not all clumpy. This back back with the 
waterproof one and I'm going to put it down here on the bottom a little bit just because it stays waterproof. Get it off my nose, right? <laughs> now, let me show you on my eye. Anyhow, what I do is if I get some in there, I just do like this. And see that took away that little bit that I had there in the, in the place of it. Okay. So, I'll show you how I fix my nose when I hit it with the eyelash curler. I mean, with the eye uh, mascara. I must have curled, when I curled that one, I must have curled it sideways a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some blush on. Now, I have two different blushes. I have, I think it's number one, number seven, and then my contour powder. So I'm going to use number one this time. And I'm going to use mine pretty high up on my, up on my cheek because of my face shape. Round, round, round. I'm going to try to... Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit up there too. Tiny bit on the end of my nose. And if you do get it on your nose, your um your uh mascara on your nose. Sounds like that should be a song or something. Okay, so we'll put the recover that. Then I'm gonna put a little bit more of the white highlighter on my nose. And a little bit of the pink on the end of my nose. Okay, then the next thing that I do is, oops, didn't mean to hit it. I have a, a powder that's a translucent, let's see, it's all white. Oh, it's this one, it's all white case there, I keep that. And it's just this light, I have to be careful because I have such wrinkles and I can't put a lot of powder on my face because I'm doing everything I can to keep it from being dry, but this actually works pretty good. Mostly just there, a little bit under my eyes so nothing runs, okay? Then they, I have these, it's called, oh, let me see, it's called, um, let's see what they're called, Perfect glow drops okay so what i do with this it takes almost nothing and i think this one is champagne i put a little bit just a tad on the back oh, i put way too much because i didn't see which side i was putting it on well that's way too much you have to wipe some of that off and i just dab it right here and i dab it right here to try to help get rid of those big old bags And then I go look in the big scheme of things and see how my face is doing. Then we have different eye line, uh, lip liners. So today I'm just going to wear this lip liner. And I don't know what it's called, so let me look and see which name it is. I have two that are very similar. One's a little bit pinker than the other one. This one is called... Cabernet, like wine, fine wine. And this one is called Coco. Let's go with Cabernet. Okay. Now there's, I've almost used all of it. Okay, so I'm gonna outline it. Now, wait, this is something you do need to do when you're 70 because because I have these wrinkles. Partly is because I do my mouth really funny all the time. And uh, 
you want to outline it so that nothing runs. Yeah. Then I'm going to use, let's see, I've got this one that's called Moon Pie. Oh, that's pretty. This one is redder and it's called Cocotini. Mm, let's use Cocotini. Let's go all out today since I'm going to be 70 tomorrow. I might as well, right? Okay. Oh dear. That really is Cocotini. Wow. Now, if that's a little brighter than you had anticipated, possibly, we do have this way cool, um, it's just a gla it's just called Shine. Now I can mix them too. There's this, is this one the one that's called Peace? That's awful pretty though, isn't it? I could put a little bit of Peace up in the center there. Gives it a little bit of depth. Don't need to have to do that. I'll put a little bit of shine on it. Yeah. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Okay, and especially since I got my hair cut so short, I have to really be, I have to really be mindful of, uh, how round my face is. I mean, <clears throat> I think if I lost at least, what's that I got on there? Five pounds, it would, <clears throat> it would help that. 10 pounds would be better. 20 would be fabulous, but hey, you know, we have to kind of love ourselves the way we are, just enough. We can't go on and on and on hating everything. And never wanting to go out. Put a little bit of perfume on to make me feel good. Okay, and I'm gonna fix my hair and put some earrings and necklace on and I'll be back. Okay, a couple things I forgot to tell you. Fix my hair, put, the, put my necklace on, and my earrings. Uh, a couple things I forgot to tell you is on my eyeshadow that's for blue eyes, this little one that's kind of a kind of a cinnamony color. Very often I'll use a little round brush and I put it right here in the corner. I round it up a little bit and make it just a little bit darker in the corner like that, especially when you wear glasses, you know because sometimes you need to accent it a little bit more with glasses so you don't see it as much. Okay. And one of the biggest things I forgot to tell you that makes a huge difference is the finish spray. I love this stuff. I use this always, and a lot of times I'll pull my hair up, but I just fixed it, and then I let this in it. I don't know what it exactly does, but it like all blends it all together and makes it all look kind of cool. So, uh, tell me your thoughts in the comments. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Here's my necklace and my earrings, and... Um, let, let me know your thoughts of a 70-year-old woman. Here we go. I don't know. It's bugging me a little bit. but Okay, so here's what I've got going. And then um, let me know if you want me to fix my hair in front of the camera and tell you what products I use. Because I use this hair wax and, and I use them. Ever since I had COVID, um, I lost a bunch of hair. And so I use... Um, I use this stuff that kind of, uh, oh, that made a difference in the light, didn't it? I don't know, let's see. Oh well, anyhow, but um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on the makeup, even if it's negative, that's okay. Uh, and let me know your thoughts on turning 70. You know somebody's 70 
or you're at least 70, all different ages in this whole world. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for the next video. I'm about to go make another one right now in my sewing area. And um, you know what? God bless you. I pray that you just have a blessed day and that, um, that you can smile at somebody and show somebody that that you love them and tell them you love them and just have a good day, okay? And pray for me because I'm turning 70 and I need to feel good about it. So, <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Love you guys. Don't forget, subscribe and ring the bell. Talk to you later.